Hello everybody! We are here to create some optical illusion art using our hands. So we are going to start by taking our hand, and you can even do part of your arm, and we're going to place it on our piece of paper. And you're going to just trace your hand. So here we go. All right, I traced my hand. Remember, at any point in this video, you can pause to catch up. All right, our next step. We are going to be drawing some lines. The first lines you're going to do are going to be straight lines. And you're going to draw these straight lines, stop at your hand, and keep going straight. So you're going to do that all the way up to the top of the page. And you can see how far my lines are. They're about maybe an inch, a half inch apart. They don't have to be this close. They could be even further away if you want them to be. However you want them to be is fine. You can do that an inch away or, or even two inches. It gets a little bit harder up here at these fingers because you're going to have to stop when you get to the finger, skip the finger part, keep going, skip the finger, keep going, skip the finger, keep going. So you're going to have to make sure your fingers are overlapping the lines that you're drawing. So just make sure that you don't go straight across those fingers. All right. All right. So now once you are done with all of the lines that are going straight across, now we're going to have to do the lines that are in the middle of the hand. And here's how you do that. You're going to start by seeing where your lines should connect. So we'll start here at the first one. You're going to connect this line and this line together by using a curved line. I'll show you again. So the next line that seems to go together are these two. You connect them with a curved line. Do it again. So we go to this next line. We want to connect this line and this line with a curved line. We do it again. This line and this line. Connect it with a curved line. And you're just going to keep doing that. Oops, I messed up. That's okay. I can just connect these two. There we go. And you just keep doing that all the way across your hand. If you notice here, there's actually three or two places where we're going to have to do this. One's on the thumb. So we connect this line to this line with a curved line. Here's the thumb. We have to connect that with a curved line. Here's another one we're going to have to do that with. Curved line here. If you keep going, you're going to have to also create a curved line here to connect that one. Another curved line. Connecting these. And so on. All right, so once you finish that, then you can start adding more lines with your pencil if you want. So maybe you want to continue... Do a curved line here, straight, straight, a curved line here, straight, straight. Anywhere there's a bigger opening, you can add more lines. Another thing is you can also add color. So if you want to use crayons, you can use crayons or markers, whatever you want to use. I think I'm actually going to use a color pencil. <laughs> And you can just go in and do the same thing over and over with colored lines if you want. So I can go in between my lines from before with a color. I could even do it with multiple colors. So maybe I want to use, I don't know, blue. 
I can find another space in between. I know it's barely any space, but I can then add some blue to it. So now that we know the pattern to do this, it makes it a little bit easier. Curved line in the middle, straight lines on the side. And then you'll just keep going until you are finished. So I will finish this and then show you the finished product. Hold tight. All right, so the last step would be using a black marker or a black pen to outline your um, your pencil lines. So I'm gonna do that and then show you what that looks like. Okay, and so now I finished outlining the pencil marks that I made. You'll notice that I did not outline the hand. And the reason is if you outline the hand in that black marker, it will not look like an optical illusion. So you're only going to be outlining the pencil marks that you made. Um, that are the straight and the curved lines, not the hand shape. So the hand shape should have only been outlined using pencil. So that is what creates the optical illusion. I hope you all have fun with this.